The Nigerian Senate has passed the Nigerian Peace Corps Establishment Bill 2020. The passage of the bill followed the consideration of a report by the Committee on Interior. The bill was sponsored by Senator Ali Ndume of Bruno State. A bill for an act to establish the Nigerian Peace Corps to facilitate peace, volunteerism, community services, neighborhood watch, and nation building, and for related matters, 20 to 2 third in taking, and this bill is also passed. Senator Suleiman Sadiq, in a presentation on behalf of the committee chairman of the committee, Kashim Shetima, said the panel consolidated the Nigerian Peace Corps Bill and National Unity Corps Bill into one for ease of advancing its work. He said the Nigerian Peace Corps Bill seeks to empower, develop, and provide gainful employment for the youth, facilitate peace, volunteerism, community services neighborhood watch and nation building. He explained that the corps will have the responsibility of training the youth to advance the course of peace building and conflict transformation through peace education, mediation and conflict resolution among wearing groups and communities where there is crisis in Nigeria. He made the following observation and finding in the first office at time that one of the bills, Nigerian Peace Corps Establishment Bill, was overwhelmingly passed in the 8th Assembly and it transmitted to Mr. President for assent. Though the ASEAN was declined, mainly due to the economic situation of the country at the time, the core mandate of the functions of the core, among others, are to develop, empower, and provide gainful employment to Nigerian youth in order to facilitate peace, community services, volunteerism, nation building, maintainer of discipline at all levels of educational institutions in the country and related matters. The bill was given legislative support and it will be of great benefit to Nigerian youth as many of them will be gainfully employed through the establishment of the core. Majority of the stakeholders and the general public support the passage of the Nigerian Peace Corps be into law and in view of the animal benefit it will have on the Nigerian youth. There is a need to develop comprehensive, multi-sectoral, multi-stakeholder and inclusive approaches in order to stem the trend of youth restiveness which portend dangerous turn towards insecurity in the country. Meanwhile, National Commandant of Peace Corps of Nigeria, Dixon Akor, applauded the Nigerian Senate for approving the establishment of the Nigerian Peace Corps as a paramilitary agency in Nigeria. Reacting to the passage of the bill, Akor said the National Assembly had further demonstrated its commitment to creating jobs and additional avenue for all Nigerians, especially the youth, to have a platform where they can contribute their quota to the development of Nigeria. The bill will be sent to the House of Representatives for concurrence before it is submitted to the President for assent. My delight today is that the National Assembly, this as the Senate has shown concern that look, the socio-economic crisis confronting our youth, they have they, 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 come, they, they are desirous of preferring solutions to the challenges. You can bear with me that most of the youth being, uh, are being arrested today for one crime or the other, though some may have the clear intention of going into crime, but some are pushed into these acts. So when there is an avenue for this youth now for, to be preoccupied, it will enable them to contribute to the peace and security of our fatherland. So we are eternally grateful to the Nigerian Senate. It is a hope reawakening for Nigerian youth because you all know in 2016 17, this bill was also passed overwhelmingly by the two chambers of the National Assembly. But citing positive of fun and uh, also other aspects of the bill that the president didn't feel comfortable. He didn't sign the bill then. We understand the situation then because Nigeria was genuinely under reception. But as a way of adding value to the security architecture, we are not saying we are going to do more than what the people there are doing now, but at least the complementary role the officers and men of Peace Corps will play, especially in educational institutions that, that we do know and we have it on record that before the invasion and attack in school and kidnapping of students, we alerted the government at various state level and we have the document to prove. So if Peace Corps can be asked to take charge of the school and the neighborhood watch, I think the conventional security agency 
will not be over, over be labored with as what we are witnessing today. So we are happy with the passage of the bill, and I want to tell you it has boosted our morale. And for Peace Corps of Nigeria Nationwide, we have shown our resilience that in the last five years, we have been waiting patiently for the bill to be redone. And today we are happy that the, the Senate particularly has seen the reason and has demonstrated that they are concerned with the plight of Nigerians, especially the unemployed youth.